This is quite honestly the brightest light I have ever used, period. It's 12,000 lumens. That's a lot of light. Now, you would think a 12,000 lumen light, that thing is only gonna last maybe 20 minutes. But honestly, that's not the case with this light. On its daylight flash mode, it'll last 121 hours. That's more than we would ever need for something like that. Now at the max 12,000 lumens, it'll actually run for two and a half hours. And I gotta say, sponsored video aside, that's really impressive. Now that's only gonna be feasible thanks to this massive, chunky battery here. This is a 14.4 volt, 10,000 milliamp battery. That's 144 watt hours. Now, all this power does come at a cost, and that's weight. So the battery pack alone comes in at 896 grams, just, just for this, just for the battery. Now, the light in the handlebar mount is gonna run 296 grams. So overall, it's a pretty heavy setup, but given how much light you get and how much runtime you get out of this, it's definitely worth it. So since we're on the topic of the battery pack, let's talk about how this thing charges. There's a USB-C port that's good for 60 watt fast charging for input and output, which means you can use this to charge up your phone, another light, basically anything that takes USB-C. Now you're probably also thinking that this is gonna take forever to charge, but thanks to that fast charging via the USB-C, this thing will actually charge to full in about three hours. Big thank you to Magic Shine for sending this light over to me so I could check it out. And also thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Since this is a sponsored video, it's gonna be not so much as a normal review video, more as a showcase video. But I am so going to give some of my honest thoughts and feedback based on how I feel about this light. Now, Magic Shine did not get to see this video ahead of time, so they're seeing it for the first time, just like you. Because of the size of this thing, a single mounting system isn't gonna do any justice here. So they actually have a dual mount system here, which is really cool. So it'll go on both sides of the stem. And this is gonna make sure that this light does not jiggle around and it stays put. Now, one of the drawbacks to the double-sided mounting system is the fact that you can't really adjust the light easily. But Magic Shine thought of that. They actually have a tool-free adjust right here. You can loosen it up, and now you can move the light up and down to whatever angle that you need. And you just tighten it back up, and you're good to go. Now, with all that power, you're gonna need a cooling system, and Magic Shine actually did think of that. So there's actually a front vent right here that allows air to come through and exhaust out the back. Now inside, you can actually see there is actually cooling fins on the inside that is gonna help dissipate that heat. The light housing itself is made of a single piece of aluminum, and that's gonna help contribute to its IPX6 waterproof rating. So basically, you can ride with this thing in the weather and you shouldn't have an issue. In the box, Magic Shine does include a extension cable and a helmet adapter. So you could actually run this light on your helmet. I'm gonna have to try that. I haven't personally tried that yet. Magic Shine also includes a wireless remote for this light, which means you can easily adjust the light without having to really move your hand too far off your grips. I do have a gripe about the mounting system for this light. I do wish it was a little bit easier to figure out. Now, I actually had to go onto YouTube to make sure I was doing it right, and a lot of the comments that I saw were of people having the same issue that I have. So to actually mount the light on here, rubber side goes to the bar, Velcro strap goes through here, fuzzy side out, attach it, Take your other side, put it through the loop on the other side of the remote. Cinch it up nice and tight. And you kind of want to have most of the Velcro on the one side. So we're going to put this one down and it goes underneath. And then you put the other side of the Velcro over 
and that's how you mount it. Now you are left over with quite a bit extra here, so I just kind of roll it up into a ball and put it down. So all 12,000 lumens comes from the five LED lights here in the front. Now there are two separate modes for this light. You have a floodlight and a spotlight. The spotlight uses all five and that's gonna give you the most light possible. Now the floodlight just uses the center LED and it's specifically designed to have a cutoff line so that you do not blind oncoming traffic. At the full 12,000 lumens with all five lights on, this thing will throw light 360 meters. Something that's different with this light is the fact that they changed up the connector a bit. So there's no longer a cable that runs from the pack itself. The cable from the light housing runs directly into the pack. That's kind of nice because you don't have to worry about routing both the cables around together. It's just easier to route the one and connect it directly into the pack. That's just my thought personally. On the inside of the connector, there is an alignment bump that helps you get it into the battery pack the right direction. On the bottom of the battery pack, there is a rubberized coating, which is gonna help prevent any damage to your frame from any kind of rubbing and stuff like that. So mounting the light onto the handlebars is a little bit harder than a single mounting system. So you get your little clips that you gotta put on, even for the 35 millimeter bars. You're gonna pop these open and somehow get them all lined up and staying in one spot, all while trying to juggle a couple screws. That is the other thing I wish that would have been a little bit different on this is the fact that there was a retaining system to keep the bolts inside the mount itself so they didn't pop out like they just did. So now that well, you got them actually in there, I still didn't even get the little spacers in there properly. Since Magic Shine is giving away one of these lights in addition to a Ray 2600, you might as well go ahead and check out the review I did of the original Ray 2600 right here.